One of the most difficult exercise to train in all dog sports is the object guard in ring sports. The reason for this is that this is the only biting exercise where the dog is left alone and must make the decision of when to bite and when to out after biting. The handler is out of sight and there are no commands. In this streaming video, Michael Ellis discusses his theory on training the object guard. He explains the training steps of how he teaches the object guard and why he teaches it the way that he does. We film Michael explaining the training steps to the object guard at a number of different training seminars. This streaming video is a compilation of all of these explanations. Hello, I'm Michael Ellis, and today we're going to talk about training the fundamentals of the object guard. The object guard is an exercise that is in the ring sports and KNPV, all European based sport programs. So French ring, Mondia ring, Belgian ring, all have a version of the object guard, as does KNPV, the Dutch sport. The object guard is different than any of the other exercises we teach our dog in that the dog is left on his own to make decisions. So one of the most important parts of the object guard is preserving that dog's ability to make choices on his own. So when we teach a dog to do any of the other bite work or obedience behaviors, the dog is operating off either a command from the handler, bite, let go, heal, whatever, or a signal from the decoy, whether it's an overt attack or escape that triggers the dog's behavior. The object guard's different. The dog's left by himself with the handler out of sight, and the decoy's job is to take the object and not give the dog any overt signals that it's okay to bite. So, when we start the object guard, one of the most important things is that the dog choose to bite on his own without a signal from either the handler or the decoy. And this is where the exercise gets difficult. The foundation pieces are relatively simple. The first step is to teach a dog to put his feet on an object and turn in circles. And you can do this with food or a toy. Uh, we touch on it briefly in our food video on how to teach the touch pads to a young dog. The same skills in, are implied. We start with an elevated, immovable object and we teach the dog by using food or a toy to put his front feet on that object and turn to the right or left. That's all we do in obedience. The rest of the exercise is all done during protection. And we want a few basic things established in the dog in his protection work before we start the object guard. Those tend to be, one, that the dog is biting strongly, he targets well, meaning if I send my dog from a short distance to bite the decoy, he knows where he wants to bite him and he's not hesitating and looking for a target. So if it's a leg dog, then I can send my dog from 10 or 15 feet away and the dog will bite the leg comfortably. If it's an arm dog or a shoulder dog or whatever, but the dog is clear about where he's targeting, he's biting with energy, and he'll out. Those are the basic skills that we need in the dog before we start the object guard. 